let's go over a couple troubleshooting techniques that we use out in the field when we've had problems and some things that we've noticed. So back to AP, using the built-in access point, we have lost connection and had a connection problem and sync problem a couple of times. And so we calmly thought about the situation. And the first thing I do is simply go in and reset the uh, network. And that's kind of a soft reset. If you simply take the switch from AP over to any of the other two settings to the left, wait a second, a little bit back. That seems to do a basic reset and that certainly helps. Uh, the other thing you do is you check your device and double check that you are on the XR18 network. Third thing that I do is potentially restart the application. Just close it down and restart. And when you do that, of course, you have to resync. And this is an, another big topic that people are talking about is they'll think they're completely synced or uh, they have completely uh, sunk to their XR18. But what will happen is ac across the, play, let's say, 16 of the channels, the last four or five channels won't work and they won't mute or unmute or do anything. And what's happened there is the application did not completely sync and get all the data from the XR. And if you ever watch your uh, application sync, you'll see it go from left to right, and it will go through and do the top and then the middle and then the bottom. There's a, obviously a syncing process and a, a syncing sequence that goes on there. And at some point, it can get interrupted and never complete. So if you ever see anything like mutes not working or a few particular channels not working, I would immediately default to thinking that it means that uh, I didn't get a complete sync and I would either, I'd probably close out my app and try it again. And that's exactly what I did at a gig during, uh, just before sound check. had a couple of little weird issues going on. No apparent reason that I could think of, but I understood the situation and I understood my, my basic logic how to overcome that. And sure enough, restarting the application, watching it all resync, going right to the end and making sure things would mute and unmute and I saw levels. Uh, I knew I was in complete sync at that point. So the show went on uh, without a problem. If you um, have some major issues, uh, a few other steps to try would be to uh, take out a small pen or a paperclip you know, size device and do a, a hard reset on the uh, AP Wi-Fi system in the Behringer. That little pinhole is right above the AP icon that looks like a, a Wi-Fi network icon. And you can do a hard reset. If you do that, of course, it is going to reset your uh, web password and your, uh, your name. So the SSID is the name of the network. And the key, of course, is your passcode. So if you've named this something and put that in, it will change. It'll default back to one as well. So you're going to completely reset the access point settings. Um, other things, you could certainly turn off and on your unit. Uh, obviously, if you're in the middle uh, of an event, you don't want to do that and you can't do that. So the second time that I had a problem was at a big festival and my iPad and the AP was just acting kind of flaky. Uh, I have a feeling the now that I know the scenario of multiple Wi-Fi devices connecting uh, automatically to my non-password protected, uh, I was in the open network. This kind of default that had worked uh, all day. And then when it got a lot busier at that festival, I noticed we started having problems. So I really think that uh, external Wi-Fi interference and auto latching on to my open network was the problem. The first thing we did, of course, is not freak out. Think about it. I've already got the show up and running. I don't have to do anything. You know, if I lose Wi-Fi, nothing's, nothing's changed. Nothing goes out. Uh, if I've got reverb on and the song ends, it sounds a little bit tacky to have the lead singer talk with the reverb on, of course, and maybe I couldn't change that. In our case, it was not a big deal. I had a little bit of reverb only. So I didn't panic. It's no big deal. All I did was go up during the song break, and I flipped my access point over to the left, waited a few seconds, back over to the right, and went back out to front of house position, which is just in the audience in a chair, and I got it. I got it right back. So that was something, again, that you know happened during an event, you want to freak out, but don't. There's no reason to do that. Uh, if it happened at a very unfortunate time, or let's say you had a ton of reverb and delay and you couldn't turn that off and now the guy was talking, I agree that would be, that would be pretty, pretty bad. But uh, under most circumstances, you know, your front of house guy is not mixing or changing things every single you know, second of, of a mix. Uh, it's usually just between songs that he's turning verbs off and on and little tweaks here and there. 
So, you know, my advice is don't freak out and realize nothing's changed. You've just lost temporarily uh, Wi-Fi connection. Calmly fix it and, and keep on going.